hello everyone it's me bb welcome back to my channel today i'm making suluhu which means a peanut butter stew with okra so let's get started here i have some lamb meat i already washed it so you're gonna add the lamb inside and you're gonna cook it the same way as you cook the peanut butter stew and i will post that link right down in the description box so you can add you can be able to go back in there and take a look at it and the next thing I want to add is some salt right after that we're gonna cook on this here I have one medium onion this is a habanero pepper garlic and a jumbo so we're gonna mash everything together And I know a lot of you asking me where I get this from. If you cannot find it um, anywhere, you can just buy like a food processor. So it will do the same work. Once you added the onion mixture in the pot, you have to wait till the onion mixture melt and cooked all the way. That's when you know it's ready. And right after that, you're going to add some tomato paste and it's going to be about a big giant spoonful of it. Here you have some peanut butter and you're going to add two big giant spoonfuls. And this is my second favorite dish. I really, really like this dish. This is a piece of yet, which is like a fermented seafood. And right after you add the peanut butter, the heat setting can change from high to medium high. Meanwhile, you can go ahead and start frying the fish. And the first thing you're going to add into the oil hot pan is some salt. And here I have some king fish, and it's like two pieces of it. And the reason I did not add the fish straight into the peanut butter stew pot is because the fish has a strong smell. Like if you just add it straight, it's going to be um, taste and smell very fishy. So you want to fry it and remove all kind of smell. Then you're going to add it back in the pot at the very, very end. So if you're using fishes like groupers or red snapper, they don't have that strong fishy smell. You can just add them straight to the pot. You don't have to fry those. The fish did not take long at all to fry, about three to four minutes on each side. Once you done frying the fish, you have two choices. Either you put the fish in the pot or you wait till the very end and put them in the pot, which, you are, which is what I'm going to do. Because I like to keep the fish texture chunky. And if you put them early at this stage to the pot, it's going to break apart and spread all over the stew, which is what some people like. What you have here is some okra and I use one cup of frozen okra. I tore it a little bit before I start matching it. And you can use a wooden spoon if you haven't done so at this time. And the next ingredient that's gonna go inside are some habanero pepper. What the pepper gonna do is going to add some good, good flavor and it must have some habanero pepper or any kind of hot peppers. Here you have two pieces of gage, which means dry fish. And you don't want to add the gage at the very, very beginning because it's going to cook super fast and disappear all over the dish. 
Beside the habanero peppers, I'm going to use only two vegetables, which are potatoes and sweet potato. Since this dish is going to have so much ingredient going on, I would like to keep it with two vegetables, but you can add any other vegetable that you like, um, like cabbage, eggplant, yucca, anything that you like, you can add it in there. Once you're done with the peeling, you can rinse them and add the vegetables in the pot. And you can add them anytime throughout the cooking. I just prefer to add them around this time. I kind of estimate by the time these two vegetables are going to be done, and it's going to be the time that the stew and the entire dish is going to be done too. This is like 30 minutes into the cooking. As you can see, it has reduced down a lot, and it has reduced lots of it has released lots of oil and the oil comes from the lamb fat and the peanut butter itself and what makes the oil this beautiful red color is the tomato paste and I just took the pieces of fish and I cut them with my hands and that's gonna be the last ingredient that's going to be added into this dish and after you do that you can turn everything off like the heat Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you back here next Sunday at 10 a.m. for another new video. Bye.